Hi students, welcome to Bosco Campus Vision. I am Shankar Ganesh, Assistant Professor, Department of Computer Application, Don Bosco College, Koti. I am delighted to present a lecture on the topic Knowledge and Knowledge Management, which comes under the second module of Information Systems and Knowledge Management. This lecture is meant for Semester 5 BCA course of Kerala University. In the previous lecture, we have discussed business intelligence. Now let's discuss types of knowledge. Within business and knowledge management, two types of knowledge are usually defined. They are explicit knowledge and tacit knowledge. First one, explicit knowledge. Explicit knowledge includes data, documents and other things which are written down or stored on the computers. In other words, it is a knowledge that has been documented. It can be articulated in formal language and easily transmitted among us individuals. Computer leadership patado, sampariki patado aya, vivrangalai, explicit knowledge in the paraya. Explicit knowledge implies factual statements about such matters as material properties, technical information, and tool characteristics. Paudigamaya Gurangala Kurchum, Shastra Varamaya Vivrangala Kurchum, Uverna Samandia, Savisha de la Kurchum, Suji Pikia, and the explicit knowledge in the Tharma Mana. Thus, explicit knowledge can be compressed into a few summary symbols that can be encoded by language in written words or machine. By its very nature, explicit knowledge is capable of being captured and widely distributed throughout the organization. Documents, email, voicemail, multimedia, etc. are examples of this knowledge. Second one, tacit knowledge. Tacit knowledge is the knowledge that has not been documented and resides in the mind of workers. Thodilalilda manasirikim, enal rekhaki vekadirikim chain the knowledge on a tacit adava implicit knowledge. The tacit knowledge known by the employees, such as how to manufacture a product, deliver a service, operate a complex equipment, deal with a particular vendor, etc., it is not recorded anywhere. This tacit knowledge is present in the minds of employees which they acquire through their years of apprentice and experience. Thodil parishil na khattathilo anipongal loodeyo ana e knowledge arjikinnad. Tacit knowledge expresses itself in human actions in forms of evaluations, attitudes, points of view, experiences and skills stored so deep. It can be observed through action. Tacit knowledge vilayirithilam nilapadukalam kaalchapadukalam ellam pragadipikkinnathu manushyante chalanangal loodeyo cheshtagal loodeyo aanu. Explicit knowledge versus tacit knowledge. First point, explicit knowledge is objective, rational and technical. Whereas tacit knowledge is subjective, cognitive and experiential learning. Second point, Explicit knowledge is structured, whereas tacit knowledge is personal. Third point, explicit knowledge is fixed content, whereas tacit knowledge is context sensitive or specific. Fourth point, explicit knowledge is context independent, whereas tacit knowledge is dynamically created. Fifth point, explicit knowledge is externalized, whereas Tacit knowledge is internalized. Sixth point, explicit knowledge is easily documented, whereas tacit knowledge is difficult to capture. Seventh point, explicit knowledge is easy to codify, whereas tacit knowledge is difficult to share. Eighth point, explicit knowledge is easy to share, whereas tacit knowledge has high value. Ninth point, explicit knowledge is easily transferred, whereas tacit knowledge is hard to document. Tenth point, explicit knowledge exists in high volumes, whereas 
tacit knowledge is hard to transfer next we can discuss human thinking and learning the human learning process is a long one and squarely dependent on individuals and their intrinsic abilities to view situations from different angles and connect conceptual constructs to resolve the problem situation when lessons become more valid for application and provide confirmed problem solution relationship the body of lessons become knowledge this may be tacit or explicit and may belong to any class manushinte padanam athava jnanam ennathu oru neenda pravartiyana adil ujithamayi vyakti adhishthitamayi aandrigamaya sahajaryangale vividha konugalude kande prashna pariharangalilekku ettunu the human learning process described for individuals is also applicable to groups or teams coming together to achieve something concrete for example a project manager and his team learn together a number of lessons of better project management new group learning process are always emerging and the lessons are learned by the team it becomes a body of lessons when the group comes together and deliberates on them to build aids and tools to perform better in this lecture we have discussed the types of knowledge hope all of you have understood the lecture thank you